All right, welcome back, YouTube. Sorry, I've not posted or uploaded a video in like, it has been a month now. Anyway, so we're gonna be working on the pet cock on my gas tank. I'm gonna install you guys in the camera. Okay, or I meant on the tripod. Okay, so next, so I'm just gonna be sitting here. We just got the gas tank painted. I'm gonna move this over. I'll get you guys situated a little better. Here's the gas tank right there. I'll straight it better. Next time. So I'm gonna grab. Wrenches, check. And what else do we need? Phillips screwdriver, check. Okay, now we're gonna remove this pet cock. Show you guys how all that works real quick. Alright, so. What you want to do here, so I'm going to grab the gas tank, all the gas is out of it, check, okay, so now, gas tank is currently upside down, take you guys, no, you gotta go higher, so right there, I'll show you guys as I take it apart, so first of all, you gotta take off this petcock bowl thing and Jesus it was dripping a little of course it was it's junk okay. first of all grab our wrenches and take I think it's this one nope one size bigger Okay, this size, let me double check. Yep, so that size. Put it on there. Yeah, she's, I had her tight. Okay, now she's loose. Done with that wrench. So I reinstall it sometime when it, my cart comes. Because, so, now I have this fuel bowl. Look at that. Brand new Chinese junk. I recommend not ordering the Chinese junk. Because as we know, as long as if it's not OEM on these old Honda motorcycles, it's junk, basically. Unless, like, engine parts-wise. Okay. Now there's this O-ring I'm going to pick out. If it'll come out. Mm-hmm. Here's the O-ring. Yep. Place that over here. Okay. Now, see how I removed the top of that? And then pulled that O-ring out of there? Okay. Next step. You're gonna take this top piece, this filter, try to pull it out. Mm -hmm. It's a little dirty. Not bad. So there's the filter. Okay, and then push that on the bench. Oh, that was some junk. Oh, it smells like gas bad. Okay, next, this. It's your rubber gas. Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Rubber gasket. All right, so we do have one slight issue. Um, there's a drop of gas remaining in the bowl here. I'm gonna try to find something to pour it into. Huh? What can I use? Let's just dump all this down here. There's the old pet car. That is. 100% junk. Alright. I'm gonna flip this. Fill up that cup.
Now, I'll flip this. Oh no. Yeah, it was like nothing, but that's okay. Oh. Okay, now, there are two Phillips screws inside of these tank, or on, on the side of these. Now, attempt not to strip these, because you'll have a fun time repairing it. Um, I'll attempt, attempt not to strip them now. If I do, well, I'm gonna grab a big screwdriver. This one's too small. Alright, this one's mega large. Shutting strip, I hope. There's one. It fits good, like. Mm. Alright, they're both loose. Now, begin by preparing yourself to remove the top. So, take a look. That screw and that screw. Now, I'll position you guys like that. Okay, grab our screwdriver. See what I'm doing here? Take these off. They are on the left and right side after you take off that bowl, then you take off the o-ring, then you take off the filter, then you take off the metal gasket. Just on a reminder there. Now, next step, pull it out without covering yourself in gas. That was easy enough. Mm. A little bit of gas on there. Okay, next step. Place your pile of junk pet hop on the counter. Whoop de do. Alright, next step. Dump. Mm -hmm. uh, can't tell if there'll be any gas inside of the guy tank. Make sure it's all out. Okay. Set your piece in here. Set the gas tank somewhere. Next step. We're gonna move the camera. Show you guys our product here. Move this cup so gas doesn't dump into the stratosphere. Oh, there's gas in there, yeah. Okay, I'll show you guys our product. And I'll reinstall this, not on the gas tank, just to show you guys how it works. Petcock. So, oh Jesus, we almost lost our. Let's take this out. They both have washer. Huh. That's strange. One of them is missing the lock washer. Or the brass or whatever this washer is. Oh well. Alright. It's not what the problem was anyway. Alright, so taking a look here. This is your pet cock. is it right there 
reserve right there. Put it back to off. All right, so now, let's just pull this off so we can take a nice close look inside of there. Oh, we're done with this, Megazord. No, big screwdrivers come in handy. Now we're going to take a look inside here. Oh, and make sure you get that bottom wash thing. Oh. That bottom one right there. Make sure that's good and tight. We'll pull that out, I guess. Just because we can. Okay, now we'll disassemble this. Now, I believe this is called a spring washer. Something like that. S spring gasket? I don't know. But when I take this off, it might explode. Oh, we got to put it to reserve. So, see, I have one screw out. There's two screws. One right there. One right there. Right next to the thing you turn. Right there. All right. So, now. Take this I can't edit either. The editing editing apps aren't accessible, so it's kind of a dis dis disappointment on my end because you guys have to watch me unscrew screws and all that other jazz. Okay, now we're gonna pull this off together. First, here comes the screw. Oh, never mind. He wants to go out more. Let's put a drop of gas in here. Okay, now. What we're going to do. Okay, so the screw's out now. Now, take this piece off first. These pieces. Grab that. Okay, so now what all we have left is our valve piece right here. Our pet cock all torn apart. I wonder what's under that. Should we take a look under it? See what's down there? Let's see. Well, that's all there is, is. Okay, there's a bunch of little holes. We'll put this piece back in. <laughs> it went back in. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> That's back in. Now we're going to reinstall it just to show you guys. So quickly, I'm going to do this. Um, grab all our pieces. First goes that spring washer. This is what I'm talking about. That goes. Next goes your piece. Like this. Careful. We installed. Not. <laughs> Put this this way to drop down on, like so. Now, feel free to install your screws. I'll just take one. Drop them down in. 
Okay. We'll just grab our our beauty screwdriver here and give her a little like so. Now grab your other screw, like so. I gotta find it. Found it. All right, now install your other screw. These are little, by the way. These are little, 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 little screws. Not like my RC cars, though. I have a, some videos on the channel on that thing. I should probably should record the video on fixing it. What is the need right now? The rear end's not working right. Oh yeah, and I'll do a video on changing my four wheelers carburetor jet, the jet, and my four wheeler pilot jet. So on those DSs, when it gets cold out, they run better with like a 37 in them. Okay. It's working now. Yep, perfect. All right, so that's back together. Got that on, it's on off right now. All right, we'll put the fuel bowl back on it just because. So first, step one, to make this easier, we're gonna put on, see, let's pretend we're putting it on our gas tank. So first take this, this gasket, push it down, get it tightly sealed. Real nice and snugly around there. You know what, we're gonna flip the other way. Sometimes I feel like if you do it the other way, it goes in easier, the way that it came out, you took it out. Cause this does not come installed. You have to install this. And you have to take it apart to put them on. I think they just keep them together to make it easy on the lads. Like the fuel, the fuel bowl and filter. You guys don't have to watch me put on a gasket all day. We'll just continue. That'll stay there for now. All right. so next, grab your metal gasket once I find it. Metal gasket goes in like so. Careful. Drop it in. It's sitting down there, nestled in the bottom. Next goes your filter. Oh, drop it in, like so. Make sure it's good. Next goes your O-ring. See how I have that in there so far? Here's your O-ring. You wanna see that? Drop that in there. Only annoying part is installing the other one, I think. Okay, well, if you're gonna be a jerk, I'll just make you go down. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now the rest of the way it'll get pushed. Oh, yeah, shoot, we gotta take this back off. We forgot a part, forgot about this. Um. We gotta put those screws back in, guys. One screw. I forgot, we're gonna pretend we're putting it on the tank. One screw. Two screws. Metal gasket. Filter. Drop filter in. O-ring. O-ring's annoying. Have fun. It's not that bad, but it's kind of annoying. In my opinion, it's annoying. Because, you know, opinions matter. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Alright, anyway. Yeah, that click means you got it somewhat sealed. And it's dropped down far enough. Okay, now we can successfully and happily not explode the pet cock on the counter. But you can grab this fuel bowl, pop it on top, like so. The frick? I don't know, you guys tell me if that's normal. That your stinking thing won't even... There it goes. Huh? The frick? There it goes. So the fuel bowl's on, now we're gonna grab our ranch. I meant bowl, our ranch. Pretty simple. When they don't leak, it's simple. That's all I gotta say. Tra la la. Pieces installed. It works, but it leaks because it's Chinese. One more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to show you guys something kind of interesting that I noticed. Nope, definitely don't want to cut them off. I'm gonna pull them off. My workbench is such a mess. Guess we're using a needle nose. Mm, not strong enough. Let me grab something powerful. Hmm, what do we go with? Channel hawks or grab? We'll use channel. Very gently. It'll just pop out. I don't know why it's not. Normally they just pull out like that. So, there's one. The other one doesn't want to come out. There's one. Let's try to get number two. This I'm only doing this to it because it's junk, and I just wanted to show you guys that you sometimes do come out. Wait a minute. I wonder if it broke. That's why it leaks, because that it came out when we had pulled the fuel line off. Because I put it on the tank without testing it, believing it wouldn't leak at all, and it was great and fine. Dandy do, but it's not. So let's see something. Push that on. Give her a nice squeeze with the channel arcs, even though it's gonna break it. Don't do this, not recommended, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Definitely not recommended. Yeah, definitely not. Give it a couple pounds, not recommended. Not recommended. Recommending pound on it. Yes, sir. Hopefully it didn't bend. <laughs> Feels pretty on straight or straighter than unstraight. That's just because the way that it is. And tra la la. It's done. Put away my tools. Oh no, you guys forgot to tell me that that fell over. Thank God there was a paper towel right there. Whew, thank you. Not. Hopefully there was like nothing in that. Like it was like a couple drops that leaked out of the tank into the red cup. But thanks a lot, you guys. Such good help. Such good helpers. What the frick? Get out of here, fly. Air conditioning's on in here. You can hear it. I'm gonna put away a bunch of tools too. You guys wanna watch? Close up of 
the gas tank. Here, I'll roll it down like that. So, drop you down a couple inches. Opening up the tool drawer. Alien wrenches. Oh, shoot, it smells like gas. Mm, did you leak anything? Nope, I did. Channel our fires. Screwdriver goes up top. Ball pin hammer goes up here. Let's see what else we got. Micro foot needle one. We don't need to put those away. I'll put that away later. See that. Hmm. Walkie drill battery. Yeah, drill battery. Put you in here. Found the Milwaukee tool. There he is. Hercules Milwaukee in there. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go take care of the gas tank here. Um, hope you enjoyed. It. And hope it helped you a little bit. Peace out.